It's Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. This is the fourth video in the series of photo P tutorials. Uh, in this one, in the last tutorial, we took an apple and we were able to separate the foreground with the background and the apple and get rid of the background and separate it and make the apple onto a new layer. Pretty simple because it's a straight line. It's the pixels are the same color. It's easier to grab it. Um, we're going to do something now when it's a little more difficult. So the background and, and the image uh, the, or the, the object are not as, as identified and um, like a hair of a cat or a hair of a dog or something. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do that now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go file new. I'm gonna create the layer, create it the same size as the standard here. And once that comes up, then I'm going to bring in my image. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to come over here for a second. And I'm going to bring in Harley, our dog, our West Highland Terrier. And I want to make Harley larger. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to bring it up. So he fits a little bit better here. Shift key down so he doesn't squish the, or wreck the image, distort it. Now, once you get this, that size, uh, I want to change the background color. I'm going to select background. I'm going to select the top level. And here I want you to put zero, number zero, two, or D2017. I've already got selected. And then we're going to select the bucket tool and we're going to paint it. Once we do that, we're going to select back to the top layer image or the image layer. And we are now going to, we can, I want to use the select tool. I could hit WW or I could hit right click here. This is the one we want, so quick selection. If I select push W once, I get this one. If I push W twice, I get this. And if I push it three times, I get the magic wand. So I'm gonna push it twice. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to, oh, always ask me, do you wanna rasterize? Rasterize, I don't know how you say that word, doesn't matter. Now I select like this. Now that's not a bad one, just some extra stuff we don't need. Uh, I guess the best thing right now is to show you control Z will undo something and control shift Z will redo. So control Z, undo, control shift Z, redo. Very handy. Uh, I'm gonna come back and see if I can do a better job selecting him. That was better. You can see it got him pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can, we're gonna finalize it in a second, but this, this part doesn't have to be perfect. But let's say uh, you want to zoom in. Say you wanna zoom in. So you hold the Alt key down, middle mouse button, scroll, and you can scroll in. If you take your finger off the Alt button, you can scroll up and down and have a look. And you can see here, I, I could have done a better job right there. I'm gonna zoom out now. And if you zoom in and you wanna to go to the left and the right, you have to select H or the hand tool, and then you can do that. You can select the left or the right. You can scroll up and down with the hand tool. You can scroll in and out, up and down. If you hit the Alt, Alt button, you can zoom. Now you have to get back to, right now we are in the hand or the the, the panning or the hand foot number, uh, hand tool, I suppose you call it. So what you wanna do is you wanna get back to the tool that we're using, which is this one, Refine Edge. And once you do that, you can zoom out and you can say, let's refine the edge. When it does that, it brings it over onto here. This is what we currently have, and this is what we're we're getting. So there, there's a couple of things. The white, if you take white and you go like this with the white tool onto this, you draw here and the results are here. If you take your white tool and you go like this, it brings back anything that's hidden underneath that layer. I'm gonna go Control Z because I don't want that. Control Z. And the black will take anything off of here. So say I wanted to remove his nose. His nose is gone on this side. Control Z, we don't want to do that. But you can use, so you can toggle back and forth between these two things. Like right now, I don't want this. I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can see here, I've still got some grass. So what I can do is I can make this smaller, like so. I can select the black and I can come in here. I keep trying to draw it on this side, it's on this side. And I can come in here and you can see this, I can clean that up. So you can see it, I can do a nicer job. So I'm doing it quickly, but my expectation of you is you're gonna play around and you're gonna get it perfect. Um, it takes a little while. If you wanna really make it nice and really make it look like it's, it's real and fresh and that's the way you do it, go back and forth between. Now, to, finalize it, what you do is you want to differentiate between the hair and the grass. And how we do that is with the gray. 
And I'm gonna make the tool a bit bigger just to make it faster. And once I have that, I can scroll around here. I'm gonna make it even a bit bigger here than this. Uh, something like that maybe, just so I can do it quicker. Now, I go like this around the edge, and what it's doing is it's differentiating between the grass and little pieces of fur sticking out, the fine fur. Now, here's a tip. Let go every so often and then go again. The reason is, is because if you go uh, control Z to undo and you've, you've got a continuous all the way around, it will undo the whole thing. If you paint a little bit, let go, paint a little bit, let go, paint a little bit, let go, and it allows you more control. So you can go control Z, control Z back a couple. Um, just a tip and something that uh, I like to do. So I'm gonna come around here, around like that. And now you look at it and it's looking pretty good, but it's hard to tell. So let's switch the black background to black and it looks kind of cool. It looks more like a painting. But now if you zoom in, you can see the stuff. It didn't quite differentiate. Some of this stuff was the same color as the fur. So what we can do is we can do a nicer job. We can click this black make a smaller one so it's a little bit more accurate and then you can start looking at the stuff over here that you want to get rid of let's get rid of the obvious one down here if i come down there with the black and i paint that guy right there like this and i can go across here and this is the part you can zoom right in you can do a really nice job you can get right in here and you can say okay look at this piece coming out right take your black and you can really this is not a piece of well that is actually a piece of fur this is not a piece of fur down here right and you can see i can just continue all the way around that painstaking operation where you get it perfect. Now, if say you finish right now and you think, okay, well, that looks pretty good. I'm okay with that. You click new layer, right? Okay. And now we've got our layer. So then you look at it and you think, you know what? I could have done a better job. Or you, or say you bring it into the you, you, in the next step, you're gonna put it in, a, in an image with the background and it doesn't look quite right. I don't believe there's a way to go back to the exact one that you're doing to raster or to, so to, to refine that edge. But what you can do is you can do this. You can say, okay, you know what? I want to do a better job than that. So I can, you can take the, this exact one here, right? And you can whoop, shut that one off. Go back to the same thing and you can click the tool here, refine edge. And now it brings this up. And you can go in now and where do you go? Well, sorry. So I didn't I didn't select that. That was a mistake I made. That happens. So <clears throat> once I got that, I've selected it. I can go refine edge. And now I can come in and I can redo it again. I can play back. I do a back and forth. And you can do that as many times as you want until you get the image where you can, you're, it's perfect. Because right now it looks perfect. Then you bring it in and think, ah, oh, there's, you know what? I missed that. I didn't see that. So that's how you bring that back. Okay. So you go back in here and then you can just delete your, you, so this layer here was the old one. I don't need him anymore. I can just right click and delete that layer. You want to keep it, that's fine. You can keep it. There's the original layer, but I got that shut off right now. So now what we're doing is alt out. We're going to bring in an image in the background. And so we're going to click on here and I'm going to take Pexels as a great site. Pexel, I don't know how to spell it. Pexel. Free stock photos, I have a link to this on the Google Classroom. And you came in here and you can add anything. You can find anything you want. Let's say moon landing. All right, we take the moon landing, save image as. You can just drag the image in as well, actually, but I, I, prefer, I prefer myself to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop like this and then i'm going to drag brag back here drag the moon landing in it'll create another layer shift make it so it kind of fits the screen a little bit better my thing go back i'm going to go back to harley and i'm going to make him a bit smaller so selection tool transform controls so i can make it smaller shift key down and
inadvertently grab both. I just want this one. Oh, this one here, space station first. Let's make it bigger. Shift, make it larger so it fits kind of a little bit better on the page, like so. Go back to Harley, make him smaller. Now you notice Harley's on top. If if I brought the space now, if this can happen, so there I can't see it. So I just bring it back so it's on top. Shift button down, make it smaller. There you go. And suddenly part, Harley was part of the moon landing. And looks good. Back to the space station background. Now, before I get going too much further, what I want to do is I want to crop it because you can see right now I've got all this background here. So let's go to the background and crop the background. And do a nice job with this. Bring it up here like this. I don't want any of the green showing. Bring it in just like this. Bring it up a little bit more to make it look realistic like Harley's right there. I'm not thinking about the rule of thirds right now. Harley really shouldn't be there. We're going to show you in a second. Uh, and then we crop it. We say, okay, that's great. Um, let's go back. Let's move Harley a bit. He's, let's think about the rule of thirds. Transform him. Grab him so he can come over here a bit. He should be in the third, right? Maybe he's like that right there. That looks better. Looks like he's been saluted. All right, so now you're there. All you do is go file, export as, and you can save it as anything you want. PNG file, JPEG, or whatever the case may be. And then uh, that's it. So that's how you, that's the simple one. What I'd like you to do now is follow, you follow the tutorial through. You've got this result. Now we'll do one of our own.